Hello, Paul here, and uh, I'm in Madrid. I love Spain, uh, but it has some of the worst um, estate agent window displays in the world. I really can't think of anywhere where I see any worse ones, and I found three that I thought it might just be fun to talk a bit about uh, what not to do with your window display. So the one directly behind me, you can kind of see they've gone for a sort of, I guess, reverse psychology of making it as unattractive as possible. Um, and it kind of says, don't come in here, nothing we've got's worth taking a photograph of. Um, they also do something that I remember from the 1980s which was by putting reserved and sold stickers over loads of property because we used to think that that generated more inquiries and urgency as if somebody passing by wouldn't have thought they might buy a property but seeing a sold sticker would suddenly turn them into a, a hot buyer and by putting properties that aren't available in the window it would generate more inquiries than putting properties that are available. Thank God nobody still does that. Over here, follow me, um, this one, a bit better, they discovered the 1990s um, and colour pictures, look, colour printer, colour pictures, but tiny text and probably a bit too much. So if you imagine somebody uh, wandering wandering past in a hurry for work or anything, there's not really anything, they could, I suppose the prison bars don't really help, but the, um, having small pictures and then loads of small text doesn't really um, help. Should we go for a little wander and I'll just kind of talk a bit to the camera and see how well we can do, never done this before, actually never done a, a sort of reportage, roving reporter thing. But there is a better one that we're going to come to in a minute and hopefully the main road that we're going to get to won't have a, a green light and we'll just be able to cross over it. The window displays for me are like a really important thing about your estate agency because you know if you're on the high street you've got to get people to stop right that's uh, that's the whole point why you're paying like tens of thousands of pounds for that window that say an online agent just isn't paying for so surely you want that window to perform in the the best way that you can and by uh, reducing the size of the pictures or um, uh, having no pictures at all or having terrible pictures um, you're we can go um, then you're really, really not making the most of that, that display. So I really think that you have to um, really look at it from just a, a visual point of view, that you've just got to get people to stop. The rest of it doesn't really matter, does it? If they see something they really, really like in your window, and if you put properties that are available in your window, then people will come in and they will talk to you about them. But also people will see, people who own a property in your neighbourhood, they will see how you display things in your window and they're going to judge you by it. So this one here, the final stop on our tour, they've discovered that big pictures matter. I wouldn't say it's an amazing window display, but it's a darn sight better than everywhere else. And you can see they've got uh, large pictures, um, minimal text, but in a large font, and it basically says what it is, where it is, how big it is, and how many rooms it's got. That's really all you need in order to get somebody inside your uh, door. So I would say this is really kind of like base level window display, because if you're doing anything less than this, then you are totally last century. That's it for now. Um, back again with something else. And just remember that everything's easier when you're the favourite.